With a tweak to your recipe, I'm going to show you how to change a lightweight daywear summer lotion into a long-lasting nighttime moisturizing cream. This difference is so luxurious that with these two identical bottles not labeled, I know exactly which one is which just by touch. So let's get started in this episode of Thermal Mermaid, making our creamy sea breeze coconut lightweight summertime lotion. But first, if you're looking for the printable version of this recipe along with the step-by-step -step instructions, let me show you where to find it. Log into your members dashboard at thermalmermaid.com. Scroll down to the recipe directory where you see lotions and butters. Click on this and find creamy sea breeze coconut. When you click on it, you'll open up the full video tutorial along with the printable material. So let's get started. Let's quickly wash and spritz our containers down in rubbing alcohol. In this video, we're making our creamy sea breeze coconut, a lightweight summer lotion. This is a light day wear lotion that absorbs quickly onto the skin. It's very rich and heavy in shea moisturizer. This recipe is good for light summer wear and it's also for just after the shower. It does give a heavy lather for just a few seconds before it soaks in. Its primary constitution is rich coconut milk and shea butter. It's scented heavily with a beach coconut smell and this is perfect for summertime. I've collected my ingredients, which include oils and waxes, and the base of this lotion is a rich, fatty, raw coconut milk. The texture and quality of the coconut milk that you buy will depend on the brand of the can that you pick up, and it's not always easy to tell from just looking at the can, so you may need to try a few until you get it just right. What you want to look for is when you can open the can and there's a high amount of thick, fatty milk cream. Now this will separate from a clear water. You just pour the entire amount and mix these together and the result is this texture you see. Now I've done nothing with this milk in the bowl so you'll want yours to look just like that texture. I want to warm all of these ingredients up so that they bond at a similar temperature. I've moved the coconut milk over to the stove top where it's simmering on a low heat. Now I'm going to combine all my oils and waxes and I'm going to put these over into the microwave, melt these down and mix these all in well together. You might notice that I'm using a yellow shea butter in this recipe that I'm making in front of you. Typically, if I'm packaging this for sale, it will be the uh, refined white shea butter. The yellow shea butter has a deep, dark, nutty fragrance to it that will mix with my fragrance oil, and I prefer this. I'm making this just for friends and family, and this is the way I like the fragrance to turn out. However, typically for public sale and for a nice, lighter, more summertime breeze fragrance, I would use the unrefined, the white bleached shea butter. With my waxes and butters melted down, and my coconut milk fresh from the stovetop, I'm going to combine both parts and mix this with a stick blender. Now this might not look like it's doing too much as it's being mixed in, but I'm gonna give it a solid three to five minutes of blend time while I'm working this together. The emulsifying wax really needs to be incorporated into all of the lotion so that the water part of it in the coconut milk and the oils and waxes have plenty of time to bond together so that they don't separate later on after you've already uh, filled it into your packaging. As this is cooling down, I'm watching that it's starting to thicken up. I want to make sure that I have plenty of time to get my preservative and my fragrance oil in and time to get it smoothly poured into the bottles before it becomes too thick. So I'll just continue to blend for another minute, but I'm keeping my eye on the texture the entire time. Finally, I'll add one half ounce of cool coconut. Now this does have a 2.5% vanillin content in it, which means if you don't want this to tint brown over some time, maybe the next 24 to 48 hours, then you will have to put a vanilla stabilizer in it. Now I'm using the uh, yellow colored shea butter, so I don't mind if this particular batch is going to tint, so I'll omit the stabilizer in it. But if you want yours to be white, you do need to add your stabilizer at this point. This is also the time where we add our preservative. I'm gonna give this another solid one to two minutes to mix in quite well, and then we'll transfer it over into our packaging. Now, one thing you'll quickly start to learn when you're filling your lotion bottles is that 
typically an eight ounce bottle is not necessarily going to fill eight ounces of lotion. It would fill eight ounces of a more condensed liquid, but because we've been fluffing that shea butter, you're gonna fit six ounces of your lotion into an eight ounce bottle. At least that's the way it'll settle most easily for you. And so this is actually starting to thicken up to a very nice consistency now, so it's pouring quite slowly, but we'll finish packaging this up and then I'll transfer it over into a container that you can see the texture more easily. Here I have a four ounce container with a wide mouth top and I'll pour this in. You can see how nice and loose and light this lotion is. It's actually still a bit warm to the touch and we're gonna set this aside so that we can allow this to thicken up. Now I've split my lotion in half and we're gonna make some alterations to the second half of this part. Here I'm adding two ounces of glycerin and I'm going to blend this in really well. Remember that I told you we're going to transform part of this lotion into a nightwear product? and glycerin is going to change that feel and texture of this recipe. Glycerin is a humectant, which means it draws moisture and it captures it on the surface of your skin for a longer period of time. The result is that this lotion will feel heavier and wetter when you put it on. It won't disappear as quickly, and this is something you want in a product just before bed, so you can give your skin time to soak in the moisture. For a daywear lotion, we leave the glycerin out, and for a nightwear lotion, I add one ounce of glycerin for every 10 ounces of product. Now I'll pour this into the same container, just like we did in the first example, and you can see that it pours a little bit more thick and also a little bit more smoothly. Let's take a look at these two products side by side. The difference to the eye is subtle, but actually they feel very different. The lotion on the left is the basic normal daywear recipe. The texture is rich and thin enough to pour from the bottle caps. This is why it's labeled a lightweight product. Also, it absorbs quickly and it doesn't feel like there's anything left behind on your skin after you rub it in. Your hands feel soft, but there's no greasy film left behind. You could use this several times a day and generally it'll behave the same way every time. Now when you're looking at these two products by eye, it's almost impossible to tell them apart. But I can tell you, I won't even have to label these bottles, and I can tell you which one's which just by picking them up and feeling it instantly. Now the second version on the right is the lotion with the glycerin. It feels heavier to the touch. Now this is still loose enough to pour from the bottle cap, but the texture is more like a face cream or an eye cream. It's much silkier and smoother, and when I rub it into my hands, it takes more effort to rub it in. It almost lathers a little bit. At first it feels wet, and then it feels like silk. And as I rub it in, I can feel the shea butter and the coconut milk. Now this is not a sticky feeling, it's not tacky, but it's slick and it feels like my skin is soaking it in. Now this is definitely something that you could use as a full body coverage before you put on your pajamas. It feels very rich and it feels like something that you wouldn't wanna interrupt by toweling it off. It lingers and it traps the moisture onto your skin. And this is a much heavier feeling than the first example. Now you can take almost any of your lightweight summertime lotions and you can transfer them into nighttime lotions doing exactly just this. Now you don't have to use a complete homemade DIY product in order to do this little trick. You actually could have your very favorite lotion that you have that's already from the store or bought somewhere else and you can put in one ounce of glycerin to 10 ounces of product. And again, you'll get this beautiful smooth silk luxury feel. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Creamy Sea Breeze Coconut Lightweight Lotion from Thermal Mermaid. Don't forget, if you enjoyed tips and tricks like this for your home-based products, click the thumbs up. And if you'd want to know more, then subscribe today and we'll have the next recipe out for you for tomorrow.